Yes. Yeah, he's he keeps death in the family, and uh, you know he's just. And oh, I'm thinking like... he's already used a couple of excuses, and he's the guy that I told you was getting a forty thousand salary, and we're going to pay him sixteen, uh, PHP. Yeah. So I don't know if he's just wasting my time. There's another lady that I've been talking to. Uh, she doesn't, you know, compare it to him. Like he's really articulate. He's, you know, he's. He's a guy that's really worth, you know, even double the salary, starting salary, if we can get him to work, right? Yeah. Um, so we need to hire someone just to go through those resumes and contact those those people on WhatsApp and say, hey, are you still looking for work, right? That's it. Yeah. Are you still looking for an opportunity, a great opportunity uh, in social media management? That's it. Um, yeah then have them schedule a meeting because we need to put some of these people to uh, to work. Yeah. So let's say a lead comes in next week. Um, we don't have a contract yet. So I'm working on the, on the template. Um, so hopefully by next week, I'll have something like that. Uh, you're collecting videos. We don't have any t testimonials yet. Um, no. We have some on the website, but not directly related to the work that we're doing. Yeah, but, and we like have short clips and stuff, not testimonials, I guess. So actually, for this, forget that. Um, yeah. The question I did have, though, was um, when it comes to the luminous landscape in that um, do we have to get the business licenses and stuff for that or like sign it up as our, our business like we did for Cutting Edge? <clears throat> no, we're using Cutting Edge. Everything you're doing is under Cutting Edge. Then that way we don't have to register more companies. Okay. So Luminous Landscaping is just a brand under Cutting Edge. Okay. So all the invoices, all the taxes are being collected by Cutting Edge. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> so you don't have to change anything. We're not going to be paying, you know, legal fees when we don't have to at this point. Yeah. Okay. Does that make sense? Yeah. yeah. I was just curious about that. Okay. Um, any other questions like that? Mm, no, not that I can think of. Okay. Um, So order some shirts. I, I believe I sent you some links on Amazon. There is a number of companies uh, on Amazon, uh, amazon.ca, that do custom uh, four-color process T-shirts. Uh, order some of that because I think once you start wearing those, then it will sink in that you're actually starting your own business and to start getting excited. You guys don't seem excited uh, at this point. So no. are you putting on a poker face? Or are you tired? I understand if you're tired. No, I, no, we're both very excited. Yeah, it's pretty well okay. we talk about it. But uh, it's just, um, yeah, focusing on making sure we're doing everything right, correctly, and make sure we're actually doing everything that you're discussing and that we know we have to do. That's okay. all. We're excited, yeah. deep, but like when we have the meetings, like, yeah, I guess we put on a little face. You put on a poker face, yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> So the the so upload those videos to Google uh, okay. Drive and also to your own um, uh, YouTube channel. So create a YouTube channel. It's easy to do. Um, you have a YouTube account or no? Yeah, we all. Uh, I, I think so. If you watch YouTube, yeah. I think it's. Just, I think I just use my Gmail to sign in. Do you want us to create one under like? Every all like like um, gorgeous homes and then all the no, other just umbrella. create one under gorgeous home, wildgorgeousome.com. Okay. dot and, and use a dot com. I'm pretty sure that uh, they will allow you to use dot com. Uh, okay. If not, then use dot com. Then people right. know it's a dot com. Yeah. Um, then that way you can start creating an audience on there. Um, okay. We also need to start creating um, a networking group out there. Have you given any more thought into that? 
like other than that uh, that group that we created, that one I forget what type of company he runs. That one I think he was like a masonry or a brick guy, but that's, that's the Hamilton. only person, yeah, from that Hamilton guy that I sent in. That's the only person that we've acquired so far directly off of Facebook into okay. that group. Yeah. And is he so, interested in getting together and and use each other? Oh, uh, I haven't. I haven't discussed us meeting together, but in the original private chat, that's that's how I opened it. Is like how open do our subcontracting work? When I was talking about the custom window wells around different houses and stuff like that, and he said, "Yeah, that's like where he specializes in, and he's looking for work, so he was willing to work with us." Okay. When we get that, We're how old talk. is he? Uh, he was like middle age. I didn't get an exact age, but just like through his profile, creeping him, there was yeah, yeah I'd okay. say forty forties to fifties. Okay. And he's just a, a worker or does he own a company? Uh, he's an owner. I'm not too sure how large this company is, but like a company like that, you kind of can compete with like four or five guys. Okay. All right. Um, on something like that, uh, bring him on as a subcontractor. And the other thing you might want to do, remember I said about the cleaning lady who hasn't paid an invoice for over three years because she keeps referring people to me and I credit her account. That could be a person that I could be crediting your account with. And that money could go towards a, the pay-per-click campaign, which is basically coming out of my pocket right now. Okay. Okay. So referrals, think about referrals. Okay. Referrals are going to be your best friend. Uh, yeah coming up and referrals not just to me referrals to that concrete guy to the other concrete guy to the roofing guy you're going to meet next month right it's all about referrals influence is the new currency okay yeah. repeat that to yourself a thousand times because that's you know the more people you know the more people you have in your trusted circle the more people you can help the more people that can help you OK, because yeah. if you have 50 people referring your name around the Kitchener or Hamilton area, you're going to be busy. OK, yeah, we have a, an electrician company we're going to talk to as well. Um, we work with him daily or not daily, but uh, we see he's our electrician. And we need that at work. He happens to just live in the same subdivision as me. Um, and I know we do all of his work for excavation on the reserve but he doesn't have a company off the reserve to do any of his excavation. So, okay. And then, and then my other neighbor, he owns like a drilling style company. Um, we're going to have a chat with him too. He's got lots of referrals and he wants to talk with us. So, yeah. So there's four or five people already in that networking group. Right. Yeah. So tell them, Hey, let's get together. Let's have a coffee at Timmy's on Sunday morning. And let's meet every Sunday morning to talk, you know, bullshit about girls or or business or whatever it is. Right. Start helping yeah. each other uh, and start referring business to each other. Find a real estate agent, a mortgage broker to join you. Right. And that's how you build a group. Yeah, okay. exactly. OK. And uh, and the other thing is find a BNI group in your area or other networking groups. BNI you know, charge money and they want you to be there on a regular basis. Um, but start networking your area, start no getting to know every business owner, especially construction business owner in your area and start, start networking. Okay. Yeah. Um, any, any uh, progress on, on the truck so far? The truck, not like still on searching, like we can find them on, marketplace but like it's just whether we're gonna have that leasing company and like what well, they're willing to work with us on price and stuff yeah how's your credit score have we talked about that in the past uh like i we got it ran for our uh like our business loan that we got and it passed there both of and they had to check both of ours combined yeah okay now we haven't really had much besides he's had a vehicle i've had uh i have a quad but besides that, we don't have anything on. Well, we still got, we both got credit cards. We both pay phone bills. We both got cars and pay insurance on monthly takeout. So we have, we have the, we have better than average credit scores. Okay. Keep it that way. Um, I will see if, 
um, we, we do need to start with uh, a leasing company. Okay. All right, let's talk about the um, the phobia you have against the cartoon character on the truck. Tell me where that's coming from. We just both looked at it and we're like, can we picture like the company that we own having that on? It's just some wasn't something that we both kind of enjoyed having on it. And also the fact of like, what if one of our employees forgets to like tighten a bolt or something and the thing goes flying off and then we're dealing with a lawsuit on the highway? Like I understand the supports and stuff like that, but mistakes happen. I think in the future, if you're ever having um, a show or or some sort of um, company event thing, uh, I think it'd be a very good like in the corner or or up on like the stage or. Yeah, we both agree that like we're gonna utilize that guy, this the guy holding the sign with like a house or a renovation that we did on it or some a project. Of some sort we are going to like we do like that idea for marketing just maybe we don't like it on the vans driving around okay but i understand where like the wow factor is coming from and i think that the wrap that we kind of both picked up like the design of like i think i sent it in there of of with the email to the advantage wraps guy we both like that we've never seen one driving around like that even the color of the or even the picture of that wrap was a rendering that's not actually been out yet so Okay, I'm confused. Are we talking about a design other than the designs that I sent you? Yeah. Okay. Like the, yeah, like other than that, I sent it to that vinyl wrap guy. I sent them both to it. The one that you sent us, and I said, this is how we want it laid out. Like this, I want, I need the name right across the side. I need the dot com like straight to the website. But then we're just changing how like that color pattern in the background. That's all. Okay. What color are you thinking? We're still we're still going with the green, the like the two different tone greens, but we're adding like a black or a gray, just like in inside that. But you can really see it; it does pop on the. Uh, okay. Draw it does draw your eye to it. It's not yeah. like a, it's not like an all black van with, um, with a green wow gorgeous homes on the side. No, it's still gonna have that pop and that wow, and just still with the trusted green color that you sent us. Okay. Um. Okay, we should we should test it. Keep in mind we've been testing that color for a while, yeah. And we yeah. keep we keep changing the colors, um, based on what people vote on. Mm -hmm. Um, so if if black makes it stand out, I, I don't care. I don't care what it looks like as long as it passes the one second test, and it's memorable sixty days later. I okay. yeah I, I personally I mean we pass wrap vehicles every day I haven't seen one that's like this I've seen a lot of solid colors and blacks and just plain whites with just small stuff and I've seen kind of a lot that kind of look like the Wild Gorgeous Homes one where it's like just that kind of style but this I think the Wild Gorgeous Homes with this implemented it'll look yeah pretty sharp we, and and uh, professional. We can get the guy said, because uh, when I sent him both that, I, I thought that maybe I could swindle him into like a free design that he was going to send me. Like, this is kind of what we're thinking. But he's the does, for him to make that design and put them both together and send us uh, like a copy that we could test. Well, I think it was like $2.95 or $3.95 to get that. Just the like the design done for us. Well, I can get to... well we, we might have another person that we've gone to before for our first ever business cards way back when. We might be able to get him to try something. Yeah, he does. He does wraps and everything. He just does not install wraps. He makes vehicle wraps. He's my dad's best friend, and he okay. Uh, so he, he might give you a deal. Yeah, he would that. What What I find is even if you know a wrap guy does a design, but he doesn't do the installation, then you take the design to another wrap company. They don't accept other people's designs. They want to charge you for a design. Yeah, because they're going to say, well, you know, we don't have the exact dimensions of the vehicle, even though you you tell them it's a Mercedes 2500, you know, roof, whatever roof style. They still want to see the vehicle. They still want to measure it. They still want to do the design. OK, yeah. right? so paying a company 
another company who's not doing the the installation. I'm not sure that it it really helps unless you want to see some other designs, right? Um, but I would. Yeah, that's why we didn't really go go with him or mention him. Yeah. can't do the designs. Find the company with the best price that you like, and and I like that they're using the three M product um, that has the um, um, the sun uh, whatever it's called whatever it is. Uh, so the three M product is generally the better product, uh, and thirty eight hundred is a pretty good price. Um, it's, it's pretty good price, but you know I thought it included the. Uh, the yeah. uh, cartoon character so i'm not sure i've never priced it without the cartoon character so uh and generally we do two uh two or three extra cartoon characters because you know even though you tell your people this truck does not go on driveways it's not allowed to park on driveways right so once yeah. you you're on the main street uh i mean there's no bridges that are that low Right. You cannot yeah. go in the underground parking spaces. Right. So it cannot go on driveways, which means it doesn't go into condominium driveways. Right. So if you if you follow just that policy, you really shouldn't get into trouble at all. Right. But if it does get damaged and some idiot drives it into, you know, uh, a car wash, you know, it's going to get damaged. And that's why we always print a couple of extra ones. And it's simple as, as uh, uh, unbolting it and bolting another one. And it has, you know, supports on the roof to support the head. So it doesn't, it doesn't wobble. So yes. I think your fears, I mean, keep in mind, you know, we, we've thought about all this. Um, you're, you're going to lose quite a few, leads per day by not having the cartoon character because now you're just another wrapped vehicle on the highway there's nothing that really says wow okay as long as you're okay with that i i'm having a hard time with that so i'm going to leave it with you to think about it keep in mind it's not about you Right. Yeah. It doesn't matter what you like, and you're both wearing black right now. Right. Yeah. That's a both we Right. Yeah. You're both wearing black right now, but Mrs. Jones does not wear black. She mm -hmm. might have, you know, her little black dress because it makes her ass look small. Right. Yeah. But you know, we do things to make her comfortable. We're not trying to make you comfortable. You're a couple of young guys, right? You're not the target demographic. Mrs. Jones, you know, whose husband makes, you know, three million last year. That's the target demographic. And that's the people we have to build trust with. Yeah. Right. Okay. And we have to break her neck when she's driving. Like, what the hell was that? Right. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, a black yeah, yeah. van or something. You know, a wrapped vehicle, she's not going to have a second look at it. Yeah. Okay. So please keep that in mind. All right. Um, so you've done the uh, little construction guy before. You've had vehicles that have had. It was a different design. It was a different cartoon character. I think this one is better. We've never done this character. Okay. And it's what we do is we take a sheet of um, uh, three eighths aluminum. Or we can even use marine plywood, right? Stick the character on, then a, a jigsaw, cut them out, um, and then bolt them on the uh, on the side of the truck. And the yeah. reason why I want spacers so he looks like he's three dimensional, like he's yeah. off the truck. So you can yeah. use a two inch, three inch spacer, and you've got the mirror, so you've got plenty of space. Yeah. Right? And the back, because you can see the back from the other side, the back you just paint white or or, um, or even you can use um, uh, mirror. Mm -hmm. Mirror on the back, the plastic mirror, Lexon mirror on the back. Yep. So Another question that I, um, was, so my mom gets packages every day from Amazon or 
wherever. But I've never every vehicle van are usually the twenty five hundred Mercedes Sprint vans. But I've never seen one. Um, I've never seen one with anything but a little tiny stick on it. Is it just that people don't do it, or is it that uh... they're not business people? You know, I I spoke with um, a couple of days ago. There was a delivery, and there was a guy uh, who had the stinky, dinky little sign. And I said, yeah. "Hey, is do you, you own the truck?" And he couldn't speak English. Um, and there was a website on it, you know, this big. And um, and I said, "You know, do you own the truck? I want to see if he wants to drive one of your vehicles, right? Uh, because he's uh, he drives for Amazon." Um, but he couldn't speak English. But it's it's a matter of contacting these people and finding a courier company in your area. To rent one of your vehicles and drive around all over the place, we found one in Brampton, um, you know, uh, but we haven't been in touch with him for a while because we didn't have any vehicles, and I think he gave up on us. But it's a matter of uh, once we have the leasing company, um, you know, investing money on one or two vehicles, and having the courier company driving them around, uh, and and rent them from you. Yeah. Okay. Because we need to be part of that community. And you know, even if you if you know there's a jazz festival or a rib festival, you wake up, you get your ass out of bed at five o'clock in the morning, go park over there, leave it for the day, right? And you know, a couple of thousand people are gonna see the truck. Yeah. Just park there. You don't have to be in it. Just go at night, pick it up. Okay. And feed yeah. the meter on your phone. Make sure you don't get a ticket. Um, but that vehicle needs to be seen everywhere, right? The you know the uh, the supermarket, the church, the t-ball games, everywhere. Then once they see the van, then they see the online marketing. Then they put the two pieces together. Then it works. If they only see the online marketing, oh, I don't know this company. I've never seen this company. Right? They need to see the van three or four times. And this is, or 10 times. Um, and this is why I think we should be working on on that. Um, and the t-shirts, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, we can definitely, that guy, um, guy his name is Johnny, uh, my dad's buddy. He does t-shirts and everything like that too. So I'll give him a text in the morning and okay. uh, I'll ask him. Okay. Uh, and the, the, um, the file that I sent you is 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 no good because Google or Facebook automatically shrinks the package. Uh, yeah. I'll send you the link where it's a very large file, so you have a lot of detail in the photo. So okay. see if you can get something, you know, some T-shirts done for, um, you know, for next week or something. All right, perfect. Okay, so you have a lot of homework. Go to my YouTube channel. Start creating. Get up. You're still below the minimum standard, so get above the minimum standard. Okay. Yeah. Okay, we'll talk again soon. Yes, sounds good. Talk soon. Take care, Larry. Good night. Bye.